Good morning everyone, Digipanda here back with an episode of opening a box of Battle of Omni. It's bright and early right now here in Kansas City and it's 5 o'clock a.m. And I'm doing a really early upload because I got a case of Battle of Omni. And really I think there's a lot of good cards in this set that could really go well. And at the same time, with so much allocation available right now, I feel like prices are going to be very cheap for cards. Uh, on top of that, I really do think that in addition to that, we're going to see a lot of Omnimon. Because on average right now, I've already opened four boxes. And of the four boxes that I've opened, I've gotten three to four Omnimon per box. So with that, let's see if we can get more Omnimon, which more than likely we will. Or is it possible that we could get a quote-unquote god box that doesn't have any Omnimon? But the chances of that happening actually are very slim. So... Let's begin with our box topper, Mimi and Izzy. Or, I should say, Izzy and Mimi. <laughs> so, we're going to just start off one column at a time. And so, um, I've already tried looking to see if mapping any of these is possible. I honestly don't think you can map them, but at the same time, they're meant for, you know, uh, pre-release tournaments, you get six packs. I think it'd be fair if every person could get two foils, but I don't think that's actually a thing. Uh, sometimes you might get lucky and hit, you know, all the foils on one side, or I should say half the foils on one side, so five foils on one, four on the other. You might see six, three, but I don't know what else you might see. Uh, let's go ahead and sort these out, because that just makes our life a lot easier. I'm actually gonna move everything over a little bit here, and I'll probably go really fast with this, because I've already opened a lot of these. Oh, our first hit! It's Armageddon. And a lot of the cards actually have a lot more synergy that helps you search and dig for items you know from your deck which really helps we pulled the agumon we pulled well we didn't pull the agumon in this one but we did pull the gabumon and of course we have our first rare as well tai kamiya and matt ishida so let's see if we can get more foils on the left side but who knows monochromon blocker we've got our kotemon who can help with Lord Nightmon, we got Daramon, who I've seen in some builds recently. Paledramon, who is going to help with Hexblaumon. Marimon, a good throwback to your Digimon World 1 game. You've also got Palmon, who can help get back your jamming Palmon. And of course, I haven't really dug too much in purple, honestly. Mainly because I'm not the purple player in the household. My wife is definitely more of that type of player. We got Absolute Blast, Bancho Lilymon. And we have a Blazing Storm of Metal, and a Waru Munzemon, and a Sora Takanuchi and Joe Kido. Waru Munzemon is definitely one of my favorite cards in this set, mainly because black gets a little bit more love in the form of cheap Evos for level 5. <sighs> one can dream. Because, you know, there are a lot of mechanics in black that I really like. In addition with this set, we do get Black Galgamon, who is kind of another Greymon. Um... And in general, who doesn't like to, you know, jam away and save your Digimon? Alright, let's start again. We got Kyubimon, we got Marine Devimon, we got Pilomon, Kurosarimon, Gladimon, Rowdy Rocker, Black Mock Galgamon, Kiwimon, Monotamon, Sumimon, all delete, and another super rare Shoutmon DX. I'm going to tell you right now, after buying these boxes and looking at prices of singles, you'll find the majority of singles have already crashed with the fact that Lord Nightmon is less than $20, and then during this time period even, we knew that even War Greymon from BT4 was still sitting at around $30 per a card. And for Lord Nightmon at this point, it's less than 20. Um, Omnimon, the one with the Blitz effect for its regular art, it's already down to 15. Uh, I don't know if it could go lower than that, to be honest. Um, if it does, that's actually really good for, you know, new players who want to get into the game. We've got Gaussmon, Taomon, Troopmon, Floramon, <coughs> excuse me, Karamon, Garurumon. Ultimate Flare, Spiral Masquerade, Gilmon, Z Greymon, War Greymon, and 
Izzy Azumi, and Mimi Tachikawa. Come on, let's get you guys in some sleeves. Whee! Honestly, I really like the artwork for this War Greymon. I kind of wish it was a foil, but I'm not Bandai, so I don't get to choose what gets a foil and what doesn't. <laughs> So far, two foils. We've got seven hits to go. We also haven't hit a secret or alt art yet. Uh, that could change relatively quickly. So let's begin. Coelomon, a great blocker to add to blue. You can now make your blue uh, decks without the starter decks if you want to. The only thing that you're missing at that point would be the camera sparks, which will be back again in another release in the future. We've got Marimon, Garbagemon, Musayamon, Pixiemon, Supreme Cannon, Gigimon, Superstar Mon, Absolute Blast, Black War Ground Mon, a really great card for purple, and we got a Nokia Shiromine. I'm really excited to play Nokia, mainly because I'm going to definitely play Red Greymon versus Red Shoutmon. Um, I might build both decks, actually, because, you know, I have a case to really go through everything at this point. Alright, let's keep trucking along. We are now at pack number what looks like one, two, three... Four, five, I think we got seven left in this pile, so let's see. <clears throat> We've got two foils so far out of five packs. So this should be pack six. Can we get another foil in this pack, and will it be pretty balanced overall for the box? I kind of like the fact that we had in BT4 ten foils per box. Uh, with nine, it kind of makes it awkward with the distribution of things, so one side is more likely to not have everything you want. Here's the Royal Nuts, Gigimon, Chris Pale Dramon, Sumemon, Mega Digimon Fusion, and a Terriermon Assistant. I'm not sure how I feel about Terriermon Assistant. I think it's really cute artwork. I do think that its effect is kind of subpar, mainly because reveal the top card of your deck, add it to your hand if it's the green Digimon, otherwise place it at the bottom of your deck. I guess for this, it's kind of the Aevo in the raise zone to protect it, and it's not like Tentomon where you play it on play to reveal it. Um, but I think there's other things that you want to use instead for the Digiverse effect, because you'd rather Digiverse for your Nidhogg than not. Alright, Kotemon. Monochromon. There's your Black Galgamon, the one that's very similar to the Black Greymon from BT. Well, for us it was 1.0. <clears throat> we also get Marine Devimon, Mechanorimon, Nightmon, Garurumon, Fake Agumon Expert, Revive from the Darkness, Neptunemon, Where Garurumon Sagittarius Mode, and we also got a. I don't. I'm not German, so. Whistling? Whistling? i curious how that's pronounced, actually. Sounds German, looks German. From what I noticed, uh, with the boxes I opened with my wife, the left side had all the foils. So, so far, it's the opposite this time. It looks like our right side's gonna have all the money in it. Um, which, I guess, adds more hype to it. Black Growlmon, Triceramon, Garbagemon, Kurosarimon, Rowdy Rocker, Palmon, Demonic Disaster, Transcendent Sword, Z Greymon, a blazing storm of metal, Arata Sonata, and a Omnimon X antibody. Never mind, we hit our secret rare. So now the question becomes, what else do we have coming up? So far we've hit the Shoutmon DX, we've hit the Armageddon. So now the question is, are we going to get a second secret rare, which would be crazy if that happened, or is it going to be an alt art? More than likely, we're going to get a Omnimon alt art, <laughs> because there's so many of those that the chances of us getting the Chaos Gallimon would actually be kind of funny. So, within the first nine packs, so this would have been the second person who would have gotten those six packs, uh, they would have gotten Omnimon X Antibody. Troopmon, Marimon. Weedmon. Weedmon's gonna be a great addition to your Nidhogmon control decks. We got Nightmon, Supreme Cannon, Kiwimon, 
Gigimon, Sumemon, we have our Balukomon, and we have a Mega Digimon Fusion. We're going to start speeding things up. We're not going to really go through as much of the aspects of what cards there are because the prize pool is very small. So really, it gets to a certain point that as you're opening packs, you're kind of just looking for those foils. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull that card out. We're going to go Commander Mon. Great for your uh, Black Deep Brigade decks because now you have a blocker Commander Mon. You also now have can go up to 16 Commander Mon rookies if you need to. Sarah Agu, there's your searcher right there. Pixiemon, Super Starmon, Revive from Darkness, Zanbamon, we have a Magidramon, and we also have a Metal Garurumon. Luck of the draw, can we get any more foils from this side of the box? We got two packs left, so that means we've got a whopping six foils left. That could be in this side of the box or the other side. More than likely though, I think we'll see five foils uh, from the left side and, or four foils, I'm sorry, four foils and then five on the other side. Gladimon, Rowdy Rucker, Infamon, Koromon. I think he would have been worth more as a pre-release card had there wasn't a tournament version of him. Uh, let's see, oh, there is a foil in this one. We got Mimi, Izumi, and Izzy Izumi. We also get a Rafalizimon, which isn't one of the best cards in the set, um, it's one of the cheaper ones, along with Metal Garurumon for Black and Tactimon. And just looking over the generic pulls that I've gotten so far, it looks like we would have been able to pair our X Antibody with like Megidramon and Metal Garurumon. Still would have been difficult though to like use it with anything in a sealed format. Um, since I had actually one, six packs that we opened uh, from our pre-release sets that we pulled an Omnimon and we also pulled the X Antibody, which would have been a nuts uh, purely sealed deck. We got a Gessamon, we got Starmons, we got Dorbichmon, we got Black or Ground, or sorry, Black Groundmon, Weedmon, Palmon, Meteor Shower, Neptune Mon. You actually can't fly? And then we have Fake Agumon Expert, followed with Rare Sakuyamon, ending with Metal Greymon Alteros Mode. We've got a lot of poles left on the right-hand side. It's going to be great, uh, but we got a lot of value already from the left-hand side, uh, with Omnimon being right now about 55, I think, for the Secret Rare X Antibody. Um, paying more than 100? Because eh, we're Phil Mon and Shoutmon and Armageddonmon. I think Armageddonmon's floating at about 15 right now, and then Shoutmon and Ruffle Easymon are about 5s. So... Left side value, probably about 60 plus 20, so 80 bucks. Let's dive into the right side now. So right side, we're going to go in. Iceramon, Garbage. Ah! Dropped a Kurosarimon. Quellamon, Ote, Ultimate Play, Agu. Shoutmon, Transcendental, Kiwimon. We have a Black War Greymon for our first rare on the right side, followed by a Arata Sonata. It's, it's kind of nice to have another uh, Black War, well, War Greymon that is black. Um, it might be possible to build a Shnokia Grey, War Greymon deck with um, black, mainly because you have ways to reduce Evo costs, you have ways to memory stabilize, um, and of course this has Reboot itself, so if you want to go into the Metal Greymon jamming combo, you have all capabilities to do it. You can also make this Black War Greymon a blocker with a uh, Mega Dramon from the starter deck, which can be actually very useful. Alright, Troopmon, Aramon, Weedmon, Commandermon, Supreme Cannon, Jokermon, Gladimon, Pikmon, Geomon. Greymon. I'm actually really happy with this Greymon mainly because we have a reduced Evo cost. Unfortunately, you can't Evo in the Ray Zone with it. You got to do it on the outside. All right, I'll delete and our Metal Gururumon for Black. Metal Gururumon is another good option for Black mainly because uh, it also has Reboot. But if it's Digiburst two, you can also um, trash one of the top of their security, especially if um, 
they don't have a Digimon that you can delete on the board. The best part about Metal Gururumon is that you can trash your rookie and your uh, baby, and you could still have your Greymon and Metal Gr uh, Greymon below it in order to get reboot jamming and security attack plus one. Might be useful, don't know if I'll run it, because there's a lot that you can do with Black now. Unfortunately, again, it's just not top tier. So, Gessamon, Talmon, Musayamon, Tricera, Flora. Let's move these over here, and then I'll start a new row for where my uh, poles are. Ultimate Flare, Palmon, you actually can't, or you can't actually fly. Super Starmon, Digimon, Omni Shoutmon, and we also have a Megidramon. So, kind of wish Megidramon was a foil too. It's just a classic Digimon from Tamers um, that. I don't know, I kind of really enjoyed seeing Dark Evolutions. I didn't know if for a reboot series they might do a Black War Greymon uh, for, you know, Agumon's Corrupt Evolution instead of Skull Greymon. Uh, it was really neat that in the reboot series that they made it so that he almost goes into Mugendramon in the Japanese uh, subs or Machindramon for all the English dub watchers. <laughs> Mechanorimon. Oh, I screwed up this game on here. Uh, Mechanorimon. Vajramon. Garbage. Okay, so, Rowdy Rocker. We're starting to merge. Pixie, Meteor Shower, Shademon, Z Greymon, Revive from the Darkness, Ty and Matt Ishida followed up with a Omnimon's Zwart Defeat Alt Art. Double Secret Rares this box. That's actually really cool. Uh, Zwart Defeat, I believe, right now is going for. I wouldn't say 70 to 85 uh, in that price range category. Really good hit on this box so far because this box was. I paid 100 for it, and uh, I made the value back, in theory. <laughs> it just depends on whether I sell things or not. So that concludes really all the major money pulls. The rest of the pulls that I'd like to see for this box would be Lord Nightmon. I'd like to see some Chaos Gallant Mons. And I think I need another Hex Bomb to finish my play sets out of the four boxes I've opened so far. So let's see if we can pull that uh, Black Growmon. Oh, white does not go there. Black Growmon, Reedmon. Black Galgamon, Demonic Riot Disaster, Nightmon, Gigimon, Yoko, Zanba, we got Weregururumon, Sagittarius Mode, and we have a Tactimon, which is actually one of the cheapest cards in the set, probably at about $2 right now if we're even lucky. He's kind of the Garudamon of the VT1, mainly because... He's not played as much as Chaos Gallantmon. I think even though he's got a lot of good effects, his strategy is very solo and not oriented around other cards. Um, so it'd be better if it was an effect that interacted with cards, if that makes sense. Um, I personally prefer Chaos Gallantmon. We've got two hits left in the box, and we have a bunch of packs left. That being said, we could have anything ranging from Lord Nightmon, Hex Blaumon, um, and an Omnimon, of course. We've, we've so far pulled the two mandatory Omnimons, um, and, and it's really hard to not pull an Omnimon, considering that in your secret alt art slot, um, there's, let's see, four ra uh, alt art Omnimons. You've got your, uh, both your secret rare options are Omnimons in essence, and then you also got Zwart as well, and it has two alt arts, which means that the only alt arts that can really do it are Chaos Gallantmon and Armageddonmon. Um, which is kind of funny, actually, when you think about it, because if you open a box with no Omnimon in it, is that really lucky, or is that just really bad luck? Um, Catastrophe Cannon, and we also got a... Oh, uh, Tactimon was our uh, foil, I believe, so I think we're going to move on. For, no, Renamon was our uh, other rare. Oops. Whew. Really great box though overall guys, and if you enjoy this content, make sure you like and subscribe, comment on the video if you want to. I got another foil here, so we got Yekomon, we got Mori Shellmon, Shrootmon, Karamon, uh, Jokermon, Agumon, Meteor Shower, Sunomon, ah, Infamon, Neptunemon, we also have a Metal Garurumon for our first rare here. And then our foil is a Chaos Gallantmon. I'll take that because um, I have a few trades in the works right now for, and they require more Chaos Gallantmons than I would like. All right.
So we have one foil left in this box. There's a lot that could be left. We have the option for Omnimon. We have the option for Lord Nightmon. Uh, we also have the option for, I think we hit all the black. Um, hmm. I wonder what it could be. Let's see. We got Triceramon, Paledramon, Weedmon, Vajramon, Fuby, Agu, my Zester, Shoutmon, Zambamon, Pikmon, we got a Black War Greymon again, and our second card is a Walru Munzemon. Give me that Walru Munzemon. I like Walru Munzemon. I want more of them just so I can build more black decks that aren't necessarily going to be like amazing. It's just more that I kind of like a lot of their skill sets and orient and, and combos and interactions because. When you're spending three memory and then giving three memory to your opponent from going to five to six, it just kind of sucks. Um, I don't feel like I've seen many Diaborumon in this box, actually, which is kind of surprising. Some boxes I've opened, I've literally hit like four Diaborumon rares. Uh, Commandermon, Mon, Shellmon, Starmon, Kurosarimon, Ximon, Meteor Shower, Gabumon, You Can't Actually Fly, Invamon, me, uh, Izzy Izumi and Mimi Tachikawa, followed by a Metal Greymon Alteris mode. There are not many supers left. I can think of only three right now, and that would be Omnimon Blitz, um, and we also have our Hex Blaumon and Lord Nightmon. I think I'm one Lord Nightmon away from completing my playset, so I'd honestly like to complete that first. Um, Three packs to go. Tau, Vajra, Dorbit, Dara, Black Mark Algamon, Royal Nuts, Palmon, and the foil is here because I just saw a glimpse of it. Greymon, Yokomon, Transcendent Sword. There's our first Diaboromon. Is it going to be an Omnimon, a Hex Blaumon, or a Lord Nightmon? The answer is Omnimon! <laughs> wow, I actually thought it was going to be Omnimon based on the fact that we got the Diaboromon paired with it. Uh, that's actually kind of funny. So we're gonna sleeve these guys up, and that was kind of a funny way to end this video, because we have three Omnimons. Um, not terrible. I'm just surprised that, you know, Omnimons are down to $15, $20. We also saw that BT1 Omnimons are actually going down as well. They wore 45. They're now down to 30, I believe, which is actually really good for overall new players starting the game because it's really hard for new players to get into a game if all the cards are expensive. I think Flesh and Blood was having similar issues at first. Um, I saw a friend actually pick that up and I was kind of surprised because he started Digimon with me a little bit. I don't think it really meshed with him that well. I really like the memory interaction. I also really like the card art. There's just so much about this game that I like. I think the only thing I hate about the game actually right now is online tournaments, mainly because there's, there's a limit cap that quickly gets filled up you'll see multiple people typically sign up for multiple tournaments, and then of course everything is just sold out within hours, I guess, is, is, is the uh, thing that I've been seeing. Um, for me, I also just, not, I'm not really a competitive person, I like collecting more than anything, so the fact that Bandai makes all these tournament exclusive cards just makes it hard for me as a collector to really get them. Um, you'll understand one day, if, if you're not married and you don't have kids, or it, it's just one of those things where I think I want to spend my time doing other things than sitting at a computer for eight hours playing a card game. Um, I don't mind playing the card game, I just don't like playing the same deck or playing against the same deck over and over again. Uh, I think I'll be doing a video sometime in the next week or two that'll basically go over my thoughts on the current format and the next format. Um, well, I guess it'll be more like previous format and the current format because of the fact that we are going to be moving from Yellow War Greymon. It might still be a deck that's going to be very popular, although Lord Nightmon just has a lot more uh, synergy and, a, and another toolbox to deal with. Because um, you got like Gladimon, you've got Nightmon, you've got Kotemon. It's just there's so many cards that help you search for your combo pieces that build into um, Lord Nightmon or even after. So. We're going to end this box opening with Argomon and also an Earthshaker. Not really shaking the earth on that one, but it's okay. I'm actually happy with this box. Um, what did you think of the box opening? And if there's anything that you thought was really great as a poll or value, let me know in the comments below, guys. And I appreciate you 
all as always. With that, if you enjoy you know, this type of content, if you enjoy the deck building list that I've been posting, let me know in the comments below. And with that, this is Digipanda logging out.